All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a proof for a triangle with a uh, side angle side or something else. Who knows? The world's at our disposal. My name on Twitter is at Tyler Tarver. If you need help or have questions, I will do my best to get as soon as possible. I'm sorry if it's not in time. I will do my very, very best. So that's me. Hey, what's up? Okay, all right, let's go to the next slide. All right, so our problem today um, we are given this information that FS bisects angle TSR so we know that this line right here cuts this little guy right in the middle okay now if that cuts that in the middle that is called an angle bisector alright well we'll get to that I'm sorry I got so scared okay so that bisects that and also they told us that this line is congruent to this line I started to point at it, but you guys can't see my hand. All you can see is the thing. So, there's that. Now, we'll get to that as well. Okay. My undo button's not working. Silly. Okay. So, we've got, let's we'll start with what we're given. Okay. So, we have our statement and our reason. Our first statement's obviously going to be that FS bisects angle TSR. Also, we know that TS congruent to RS. Put the little line over it because it's a segment. Alright. Now, not sure which part that cut out on, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, what I've done in the absence when I've been talking to myself because my fat hand hit the button, um, that we were showing that that right there we knew and it was given to us. Okay? It was right here. They told us that. We didn't have to do any. We have no other reasoning besides the math superiors told us that is what is true about this problem. Now, we're going to use that information to solve that. Um, usually they ask you to prove something. Um, the problem this was sent by, I'm guessing, it didn't have what was proved, but I would guess that you're trying to prove that um, these two triangles right here are congruent. Okay? Um, so, let's prove it. Okay? Let me let me go ahead and write that out. You bear with me one second. I think I can pause this. And I could pause it. That's cute. Okay. Now, I know it's the ugliest handwriting on the planet because I'm using a mini. And so I'll try to switch to a regular iPad next time. And then it will be better, hopefully. I don't know. My handwriting is bad anyways. So we're trying to prove that triangle FTS is congruent to FRS. Okay. So we're going to do that using our... Um, angle congruency stuff, SAS, SSS, HL, um, then two more that I can't remember right now. I know them, it's just been like three years since I taught geometry. Get off of it. Okay, so here we go. I don't know what get off of it means. I think you were on my back, so I'm like, get off my back. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's find, let's use the information they gave us, and let's figure out some stuff, okay? Now, I've already marked this, so let's go ahead and mark that. Alright, I did this because it was given to me right there. They said these are congruent. Okay, but I don't have to write that again because it's given. So we've already proven that two lines are congruent. Now that helps because we're trying to prove that your sides are congruent and your angles are congruent. Okay, that's what we're trying to prove. S and A are the only two letters that help prove things. H and L, obviously, is a hypotenuse leg, but hypotenuse is really just a side, a fancy side, and a leg is a fancy side. Okay, it's just for a verb if it's a right triangles. Okay, which we don't need that right now because there's no right angles. Okay, so. We've got one. Boop. Now we're just trying to knock out the rest. All right. We've already used that information. Okay. It gave us those lines. So let's use the other information to find the rest. Okay. It says FS right here. It bisects this angle right here. All right. Now that means that these two angles, if it, something bisects something, it means it cuts it in half. Therefore, if you cut 40 in half, what do you get? 20 and 20. If you cut 1,000 in half, you get 500 500. Anything you cut in half, you get the exact same thing. So therefore, these two angles right here are congruent. Okay? Well, we know that, but we have to write that. So we would say angle um, T S F is congruent to angle I'm going to say TSF and then RSF. Okay, and how'd you know that? Well, that's what, that's what angle bisectors do. It's the definition of an angle bisector. Okay, now 
Another little thing I like to do whenever I'm trying to do something with like solving with side angle side or side 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 or you know side side angle that's one yeah yeah pretty much the only ones that aren't are the bad words okay I like to put the things out here that I found in the first one in the givens we found out oh we got a side cool all right right here what did we get we just got angles Boop. okay so we need one more thing all right let's see what else we can figure out oh look at this little guy right here all right see this these two triangles they share a side this little guy here in the middle now if that thing is it say it was 20 guess what it's gonna be for the other triangle 20 as well okay because something is always equal to itself now all you have to do is write down what the reasoning is for that okay so we're trying to say that FS is congruent to itself okay now the property that allows us to say that, that something is equal to itself, which seems obvious, so you should put, you know, the theorem of no duh theorem, you can't do that because that's not, um, I don't know, they didn't tell us we could, okay? It's called the reflexive property. Alright, so that reflexive property, that tells us that a side in this triangle is equal to the same side in this triangle. That gives us another side. So that right there shows you what you just proved it with. You don't have to go any further. So now we just say the triangles. Okay, we would say triangle FTS is congruent to triangle FRS. Now, your last step in a in a in a proof should always be whatever that little guy is, whatever you're trying to prove. Because that's how you solve a proof. You're proving it. Okay? Now your first one is always your given, which it was for us. Your last one should always be what you're proving. Now, what did we prove this with? Well, we have a side, an angle, and a side. A side, an angle, and a side. So it's S-A-S. -S. Okay? And that proves those two triangles are congruent. Now, the only, uh, the only thing you need to be sure of right now is, look at this. Your, your things should match up. This angle should be the same as this angle. Is angle F concurrent to angle F? Yes, it was. Is T and R, are they matching up? Yes, they were. And they make sure S and S that matched up, and they did. Okay? And that's it. That's how you solve a two-column proof for triangle congruence. Something that's not fun to do and seems useless, but hey, it's math, right? Bye-bye.